everyone welcome back to the channel MLG lectures in this video we will discuss about packed cell volume or PCV PCV is also termed as hematocrit now before moving towards the video please like share and subscribe the channel PCV. PCV is the amount of packed red cells in the given sample of the blood after centrifugation which is expressed in percentage. PCV is nothing but the amount of packed red cells that are expressed in percentage. There are two ways to determine PCV. First one is macrohematocrit method by using Pintrop tube and second we have microhematocrit method by using capillary tube. Now let us look in detail about Wintrop's tube method. Principle When an anticoagulated blood is taken in a Wintrop's tube and it is filled to the graduation mark and then centrifuged at standard speed for specific time. The volume of a packed red cells can be read directly by graduation mark on the Wintrop's tube. The principle says that the anticoagulated blood is taken into a Wintrop's tube up to a mark 100. Then it is centrifuged for standard speed for specific time. That is for 3000 rpm for half an hour or 30 minutes. Then the volume of packed red cells is read directly on the Wintrop's tube. Now equipment required for Wintrop's tube method is Wintrop's tube transfer pipettes centrifuge blood sample. The blood sample we use is venous blood which is anticoagulated with EDTA. To know about Wintrop's tube in detail, it is a thick walled glass tube of 11 cm long with a diameter of 2.5 mm and has a flat inner base. This is calibrated and marked at 1 mm interval from 0 to 100 mm and it holds about 1 ml of blood. Here we can see the picture of Wintrop's tube. Now procedure to do PCV by using Wintrop's tube. First, thoroughly mix the anticoagulated blood sample by repeated inversion or mechanical rotator. Then draw the blood into a long pipette. After that, fill the Wintrop's tube up to the mark 100 mm, starting from bottom and gradually withdrawing the pipette as blood expressed in the tube. Then centrifuge the tube for 3000 rpm for 30 minutes. The observation we can see is three layer. They are plasma layer, buffy coat layer, and RBC layer. The lower portion where RBC are accumulated are is termed as hematocrit or PCV. Normal value of PCV in men is 40 to 54 percentage, in female 36 to 47 percentage and at birth it is 44 to 62 percentage. Now second method that is microhematocrit method by using capillary tube. Requirement here is a small capillary tube which is 7 mm long and has diameter of 1 mm. Then we need a spatial centrifuge that is microhematocrit centrifuge. This is a capillary tube used. Procedure Two-third of the tube is filled with blood. 
The empty end is closed by a plasticized or a modeling gear or we can even use a wax. Then tubes are placed in the group of the centrifuge. Then centrifuge at speed of 10,000 to 12,000 rpm for 5 minutes. Then the total length of the blood including plasma and the length of the red cell column are measured separately and calculate the ratio. This is how the reading is done. The reading of the value by using a special chart which is provided by the manufacturer. Comparing the RBC and the plasma layer along with the graph. There is both advantage and disadvantage of microhematocrit method. Advantage include only small amount of blood is needed. Even capillary blood can be used here and it has an easy procedure. And disadvantage include ordinary centrifuge cannot be used and accurate reading is difficult as we have to compare it with the graph given by the manufacturers. Thank you. Hope you like the content. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.